Hi Capricorn. Welcome to another love reading of yours. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to search the energies vice versa. This is from the Capricorn for now. Time is full, guys. You could have dealt with this energy or you'll be giving it in the new. If you need a person reading, that information is going to be down below. Looks like there's been an ending between you guys. Um, we have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Cups, okay, as the bottom of the energy, the mutual energy between you guys. So I feel that uh, I'm, I'm getting like someone realizes their worth, their value, okay, and it's almost like someone realizes what they're passionate about and they're going to go for it, okay. The Eight of Cups, yes, it is walking away from the situation, but I also feel that someone's walking away from a situation that does not make them happy, okay. And it's almost like they're going to pursue uh, something that they're passionate about, okay. But there's definitely been an ending between you guys. The Queen of Wands is someone very, very secure, very confident, okay? So I can also get the energy of someone who's, you know, um, who could have given a lot in this relationship, okay? And they almost forgot giving themselves, okay? And they gave the other person more. But now because the situation is just very unfulfilling and uh, there could have been a lot of... Um, I'm getting there could have been a situation where you were not really getting the amount of love or attention that you wanted or you would your love was just not being reciprocated. Finally, you're back into your power, you're just being badass and uh, you've taken your power back and now you're walking away from a situation that does not make you happy. Could be a person, could be the situation, alright? But someone's realized that they are worth much more than what uh, they're getting. the feelings of Capricorn for this person? What are Capricorn's feelings towards this person? Any Capricorn's feelings towards this person? Too many cards. Give me Capricorn's feelings towards this person, please. Okay. Give me this person's feelings towards Capricorn. What are the blockages? Give me a card for the blockages, please. We have the lovers and the five of swords as the blockages. All right. What action will Capricorn take towards this person? What action will Capricorn take towards this person? What action will this person take towards Capricorn? And what is the likely outcome? Between Capricorn and the person they're dealing with in love. Too many cards. Give me the likely outcome between Capricorn and the person you're dealing with in love. Alright, Capricorn, first of all, so much love. So much love. Again. Capricorn, so I'm getting that on your side, right, for the Eight of Wands here, I feel that you want forward moments with this person, okay, you're manifesting this person, you want communication, alright, you want to talk to this person, uh, you definitely move this, or want to move this situation forward, so, and on their side with the Nine of Cups, it's like they're trying to make themselves happy, they're trying to do whatever it takes to make themselves happy, um, I'm almost telling someone, you know what, who, again, with the Queen of Wands and Eight of Cups and getting someone who realizes their worth and value. They're very secure, very confident. This person could be very, very sexually attractive or you could have been very attractive to the, attracted to this person. This person could have also had a lot of suitors, all right? But this is the Queen of Action. So I think the Queen of Action, you know, the Queen of Wands here is going to do what makes them happy and they're going to try and keep themselves happy as much as they can. It's almost like I'm getting an energy of, I make myself happy. I, I am self-reliant and I don't need anyone to make me happy. I am whole and complete is what I'm getting from this person that you're dealing with Capricorn. And you on the other hand, I feel with Eight of Wands, you want forward moment with this person. You want to take action. You want to communicate with this person. Alright, try for the Eight of Wands for Capricorn. And yeah, you can switch the size, okay? So this could very well be your person and this could very well be you. Try for the Eight of Wands. Try for the Eight of Wands. Yep, see, you want to move 
forward with clear communication okay we have the queen of swords and the king of swords at the bottom of the deck so this is a divine couple but the good thing i get here is that you're both in your energies okay you're both you both being mis me business okay no one's fucking around here anymore and I think you want clear cut communication with this person with the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Wands here. But at the same time, you would offer them a lot of communication, which is a lot of passion. Okay. I'm telling you, you're trying to manifest this person back into your life if you guys have separated because I saw the death already. So yeah, there has been an ending between you guys, okay? But you're manifesting this person and you're wanting forward moment, and it's almost like you want it now. Alright, that's what I'm getting. From the moment this person walked away from your life, because this person is in their energy, okay. This person is standing up for themselves, you're being very attracted. To that person all right and now it's like you're hell-bent on communicating with this person give me one more card for the queen of swords all right you want to invest with this person all right with the eight of pentacles here you want to work on this person you want to work on this relationship for sure but with the three of pentacles in reverse here it's almost like there's a lack of cooperation between you guys okay you guys are just not being able to come together on the same page all right could be a third party situation between you guys doesn't have to be but with the three of pentacles in reverse it also it, it could also mean that there someone needs to leave a third party situation which is constantly coming and that's why there are conflicts between you guys all right Alright, clarify this person's feelings. Why are they the Nine of Cups? Why is this person the Nine of Cups? This person is very, very focused on their money, their goal, their self, okay? With the King of Pentacles here, you're dealing with the breadwinner of a family. Or this is just someone who's just wanting to focus on their uh, money, their own stability, their own growth, okay? And that now you see what's happening. That's exactly why you're getting so attracted to this person. I'm getting very strong energy that this is the person who is the one who left this relationship okay and they're going they've gone ahead and wanting to pursue what makes them happy what they're passionate about all right and uh, with the nine of cups and the king of pentacles i feel that this person is very much interested in um uh, making that stability that they wanted from you maybe this person wanted commitment from you and maybe that was the biggest issue but now this person is focusing on giving themselves uh, it's almost like this person is like, I don't need anything. Whatever I need is within me, is what I'm getting, alright? Now for the King of Pentacles, this person is completely focused on themselves, alright? And with the Nine of Cups, this person is telling the universe that they're very grateful and they're blessed for whatever they have. And that's why the, good, the universe is giving them uh, what they want. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Now for the King of Pentacles. At the same time, this person loves you very, very much, okay? Very, very much. But there could have been one person who was not taking action all this while, okay? But with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups here, all right? I feel that this is someone who's vibrating at a very, very high level, okay? With the Queen of Cups, this person could be a tarot reader. This could be someone very, very psychic. But they're trying to get a lot of psychic advice, a lot of psychic guidance from the universe. They could even be watching a lot of tarot readings, etc. But this person has a lot of love for you okay but uh, they're very compassionate they love you still okay but i think this person is choosing to focus on their money their career it's almost like i feel this person's diverting their mind but more than diverting their mind it's more like a good thing you know it's like they're trying to um what's that called trying to convert pain into inspiration is what exactly this person is doing i like this person's energy this is really badass all right so uh, the blockages between you and the person you're dealing with is the lovers and the five of swords. Okay, there's fucked up communication between you guys, okay? There could be someone here who's constantly trying to one-up, okay? There's so much love here with the lovers, okay? You guys feel this mutually, okay? Uh, you both are in love so much. But with the five of swords here, either someone needs to make a choice, okay? It could be one person who needs to make a choice between two people, all right? But this is a very significant life-changing decision, all right? And with the five of swords here... I think you're both trying you're both in your ego that's what's happening it's like I need to win the other person's like no I need to win okay and that's why I mean there's this big conflict out here okay but this is some serious conflict but it's a lot of pettiness at the same time also okay this is someone very very immature that you're dealing with okay so that's the biggest blockage here. I'm getting the blockages that someone is not ready to make a choice okay even though the, the connection is felt mutually right but it's the ego and the communication that's coming in and which is the biggest issue out here Clap for the Five of Swords here. Clap for the Five of Swords. Yeah, see, there's someone here who's wanting 
an equal give and take okay with the six of pentacles here but there is one person so again like i said in the I, I, like i said before right this could be someone who was either offering you bare minimum or it was a very one-sided situation all right and now the ego fight is that you know what i'm walking away because i'm done and i am over with your mind games i know i feel the love mutually but you're going to have to make a choice is what i'm getting and someone needs to choose and stop these mind games and they need to drop their swords and they need to go ahead and offer and th there should be reciprocity that's the biggest problem out here communication reciprocity that's what's getting it's a very one-sided situation i thought this person was not giving you enough or it was just bare minimum all right uh why will uh why will capricorn take uh, the action that you're planning to take moving forward with this person is the seven of cups in reverse so i feel that it's almost like sorry my nose it is uh it's almost like you're getting a clarity about something okay it could also mean that you could have kept your options open in the uh before you could have kept your options open and uh, now you see things for what they are you're getting clarity about a situation okay it's almost like you've narrowed down your options or it's like the confusion is no more okay you're seeing things for what they are you see you have like a reality check about what's going on why the seven of cups in reverse why the seven of cups in reverse Someone's wanting to move forward and come out of that isolation mode, okay? I think someone's not focusing. Uh, I think before, probably they were, you were probably very focused on what you didn't have. Uh, now you're not focused on that anymore. It's like, yes, you have, um, you could have rejected someone's offer or someone could have rejected your offer. But now I think you're, you're very clear about what you want. And I think you're coming out of that mode of feeling rejected or you could have denied someone's offer okay but now it's like I'm, I'm feeling that you're moving out of that low vibrational energy and now you're ready to make an offer to someone clap at the four of cups in reverse because you have clarity you have clarity about the situation what is the four of cups in reverse clap at the four of cups in reverse clap at the four of cups in reverse please see you're losing your patience. You're going batshit crazy, all right, with the temperance and your here. It's almost like, I don't know what I want, but I want it now. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. And you want to rush in and communicate with this person now. Because it's almost like, first, you were very confused. Like I said, you could have had a lot of on your plate. Or you could have just been very confused. Or you could have kept your op options open. Now, you're very clear about what you want. And you're zoned in on this person. You're ready to make this person an offer. And now you don't feel that. You, you're, not, you're done contemplating is what I'm getting. With the Knight of Swords, you, you want to rush in now. You want to talk now. Because you're losing patience. All right. Uh, this person is going to be closed off towards you with the Four of Pentacles. Okay. This person's going to hold back. This person's like in a complete state of shutdown. I'm getting Capricorn. This person could have been very, very hurt. Okay. Very, very hurt from you. And now it's like I'm getting this person could have really given you their heart, their emotions. They could have invested a lot in you. But when you were not ready to cooperate and compromise with this person, right? With the Three of Pentacles in reverse, there was a lack of commitment. There was a lack of investment. There was a lack of um, wanting to build and grow together, right? Now this person is almost like I feel they're wanting to give up. And they're like, you know what? No, I have a lot of love for you, but I'm just going to focus on myself and do what makes me happy. They're very close off towards you. That's the action they want to take towards you. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Clap for the Four of Pentacles. Clap for the Four of Pentacles. See, again, this person has a lot of love for you, okay? Like I said, this person has a lot of love for you, but with the King of Cups, this person is going to do. I don't think this person is going to say a lot. They're watching you, they're looking at you from a distance, they want to talk to you, but I don't think that they're going to make that move yet because with the Four of Pentacles, I feel a very stubborn energy, almost like someone who's blocking their heart chakra, you know, someone who's, it's going to be very difficult for you to get through this person, okay, again, because this person's severely hurt. They're trusting their intuition, but with the King of Cups, again, this person is just not going to open up. They may love you a lot, they do, but they're just not going to say it. Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, see, they're being very, very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. See, with a hangman and reverse, it can go two ways, okay? I thought this person's trying to come out of isolation and they want to talk to you. But I'm still assuming that this person is very stuck in their ways. More than anything, I'm getting, yes, this person wants to talk to you with the page of pentacles. They're waiting for you to communicate, okay? But at the same time, they're going to give you the silent treatment, okay? They're, they're giving you the silent treatment. This person, um, uh, this person knows more than they say. 
again, I have a very strong feeling you're dealing with uh, someone who's into the healing business. Uh, could be a tarot reader, could be anyone, okay, who's into the psychology, who's into the psychic business. But uh, yes, there was an ending to a connection that I'm getting. And now with the hangman here in the reverse, I'm almost getting like this person is ready to sacrifice that you're dealing with someone very stubborn again. They're almost ready to sacrifice their own happiness just to teach you a lesson. I feel bad for this person because this person has completely shut themselves off towards you. All right. Again, I'm getting like this person is going to give you like a hundred chances just to come forward and make things correct or get into this point of stability and security. But I don't think you budged because the three of pentacles in reverse is someone, you know, again, just not ready to work and just not ready to be in the same page. It's almost like now you're ready to do this. Okay. And they're like completely back off. Yeah, you're dealing with again four of pentacles and the hangman here okay very very stubborn and rigid energy good luck to you guys all right the likely outcome between you and the person you're dealing with is the ten of wands it's going to be something it's going to be very burdening why is the ten of wands has the likely outcome again we have the king of swords and the emperor here so there's someone here who's wanted to take control of the situation right but with the king of swords here you're not doing it the right way the king of swords is an asshole sorry to say that but whoever this is right someone's not being communicative they're cutting the person off but it's almost like you know a lot of manipulation going on lying cheating but i'm getting more like you're trying to get someone has set healthy boundaries and it's pissing this person off and that's why the entire situation is a very big burden you know it's something very overwhelming to the other person whoever's cut the communication off right i mean it's a more like with the emperor here i feel this side is someone who set healthy boundaries they've, they've taken control of the situation okay two ways hear me out either this person with the employer they're trying to get they've got control of the situation they're putting in healthy boundaries so now for you it's very very difficult to get through them okay because they never had boundaries when it was with you okay they just gave and gave and gave and gave unconditionally all right and now because they're doing this with the with the ten of wands and the king of swords in reverse you're, you're pissed off it's pissing you off completely, all right? And you're holding a grudge against this person and you're just being an asshole. Or the other thing is that after this person cut you off, right? Anyways, this is a very burdensome situation. But with the King of Swords in reverse here, I feel you're holding a grudge against this person. You're very angry. And now you want to come in and take control of the situation, okay? With the Emperor here. But your attitude, your approach towards this situation is wrong. Because you feel approaching the person is by having rash communication or being very mean or saying words that hurt the other person, right? Blame game could be. But that's what I'm getting. So take how it resonates that's what i have for you capricorn i hope this reading resonates with you like share subscribe leave your comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye bye, -bye.